Hello and welcome to program 43 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, one of my clients asked whether I had any programs that looked for uh, identifying on a chart trending or uh, times when the price was what I call compression. And uh, I really hadn't got anything and it's obviously a very difficult thing to put together. But what I've done in program 43 is try to uh, find something. And uh, as you can see from the screen here, this applied to a Amazon 60 minutes. And what it does is during a time of compression, it will paint the paint bars. In this particular case, a, a dark gray color. You, you've got control over that. And then during perhaps trending times, the prices just go back to their normal color. So you can see where the price is sort of whip soaring around um, you'd see something like this and then you'd get back into a trending period then again some more uh, compression there and then uh, perhaps a trend happening in the uh, Amazon 60 minute this can be applied to uh, other symbols for example um, foreign exchange and uh, obviously it's not always right but you could see here a little time of compression before we get a, a trend and here uh, perhaps some compression before we get a trending move. Let's see if we have any other good examples here. Okay, you can just see down here there's a little bit of uh, confusion before we get into a trend, and the program's isolating that with the uh, by coloring the paint bars. What I've also done is um, included a indicator with this paint bar study so that you can see how it's working. And uh, let me just apply that to the chart and then explain how this thing works. So what we're doing is we're creating a calculation which gives an idea of how much compression or consolidation is going on in price and uh, you can see on the chart here this is indicated by the red line and uh, what I also do is take a triple smooth moving average of that line which is in this case the pale blue line and you can also see this yellow line and what that is is an average of the last five pivots in this compression factor and we do that by storing those in an array and taking an average of the array and for the lines for, for the bars to be colored gray or whatever color you choose the uh, this this line the red line here the compression factor needs to be below both the smooth version of the compression factor and also under this average of the pivots in the compression factor. And uh, that is how it works. And I'm including, if you're interested in downloading this, both the paintball study and the indicator, and they are unprotected. So you can experiment with them yourselves and uh, make changes if you wish to. What I'm also gonna do for Gold Pass members is just to give a little additional bonus video, which explains how I went about uh, calculating the pivots and storing them and averaging them in the array. Anyway, I uh, hope you might find this useful. If you want me to uh, apply it to other symbols or timescales, then please let me know and I can include those on this program page. So thank you very much.